Welcome everyone to Fate. Smells good. Rise of the Dice. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Thank and uh, we mm. no longer have a true oh, spellcaster yes. to fill that with. So, right now, with Alma, Alma, our uh, uh, divine soul sorcerer, you do have high sorceress, technically, um, it would work well. be a tank is no longer going to go to play cool. for a while because he has recently found employment. It's great for him. That's for you, dude. Uh, hope you hope that that goes well. Uh, so, we're going to uh, D&D her away in just a sec. Uh-oh. <laughs> the entire Crowley family dies. Everybody went crazy. Oh, yeah. Comes back. Huh? I, I say they all die no, except no, no. for uh, Thick Crowley. Thick, yeah. Thick. Yeah. Thick. Two Me Crowley. Yeah, Thick stays alive. <clears throat> That's hilarious. Me? Me Crowley? Me Crowley? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the last session, which was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. There was a period of two months of downtime. We're getting, we're kind of in the middle of summer at this point in the realm. Um, there have been a, a handful of different like celebrations in the city for like the introduction of summer and a couple of other relevant holidays. I've got school uh, the during, whole time. During, during downtime. That's what robot. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what uh, Officer that's what Linus doing. Oh yeah. With got me. trimmer. And uh, has has been working with Finn to, to get swole. Swole. Uh, but <clears throat> he came to you guys after the, the uh, two month downtime period and had a job for you, which was to track down a uh, an individual named Toretto, <laughs> who Mal recognized Ow. the name immediately <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be. A silver dragon from her past named Garma Toretta. And in order to get in to see him, to talk to him, they had to win a street race with uh, cars provided to them by the station, the police station. And they did. They did the race, which took a lot of time. And I will need to tweak the rules for that. That was so good. Not as that was a good ridiculous. Uh, it would have taken way too takes, long. Takes, it took way too long, but but we did summarize. I it. will, yeah, I I will tweak it, and it will be better next time. Uh, regardless, it was fun still. It yeah, was, fun. was good. The winner of that race, if I am not mistaken, was yeah. uh, these two. Uh, the, oh, Just barely yeah. beat Sarah and I. It was the Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, the Mercy Phoenix. Benedict Phoenix. I demand to be called Drift King from now on. <laughs> or DK. No. Yeah. You were racing against a number of different individuals and uh, more specifically one of Toretto's uh, sort of lead general-ish type guys uh, who was Sir Barrington, who was in fact just a bear. Uh, and he's so charismatic. Everyone doesn't he's think he's a bear. So a bear. Nobody, he also can't speak. But nobody knows he he's speak. a bear, except for Harriet and like other rangers who can talk to animals. Animals. Uh, he's very persuasive, and, <laughs> and he takes you guys to see Toretto. You have a chat about. I'm not speaking. You. You begin having a chat about why he's doing what he's doing, and it turns out that his. Enemy, his rival, if you, if you will, is making a philosopher's stone, planning on making it anyway with the soul uh, of his sister, his sister Mia Tolvasha. Uh, or Mia, for short. Can we set like an actual Fast and Furious role playing game? Like custom cars. And, uh, names, that's where we left off. You guys are in the CD bar with him. And you're having a nice, uh, well, I say nice. It's probably really, really bad ale. Because it's a shitty dive bar. But it's terrible. And cheap. Uh, and he just finished explaining the thing about the phosphor stone. <coughs> and. 
All of a sudden, actually, I need I need some perception checks from everyone, please. I see everything. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found you. Oh, Fifteen. Dirty twenty. Yes, please. Dirty twenty. Okay. Why isn't this missing? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, let me guess that Nineteen. Nineteen, okay? 20. 20. Seven. Seven. Eight, twelve. Twelve. Fifteen. Alright. One. Yeah. <laughs> Natural one. Yeah. <laughs> Starting it off right. Yeah. I mean, at least there's a perception okay. check. So. Yeah. Also. It's a negative one. Okay. And I have a fourteen. Okay. Okay. Gucci one too. Gucci one. Cool. You see movement. Oh, shit. It's perfect for the note. From the corner of your eyes, a split Pretty second good. before it happens, uh, the front door to the tavern is kicked open. All of the windows shatter inward as uh, black leather clad individuals burst through. Orgy! It is. I can't back to jail. It is a lot of penumbra, of, of penumbra agents. Oh! It's the a lot. We didn't do it. Scatter. We didn't do it. Um, the one that kicked in the door is a human. Human male. And he walks up. And like the tavern owner, who was kind of behind the bar, <laughs> just like ducked and hid behind the bar. <laughs> yeah, just disappeared behind the bar. Uh, anyone else that was in there has essentially Froze. uh, frozen. Like they're not moving. Yeah. Because there's penumbra. There's penumbra. And just kicked in the door. It's not, it's not good. The <clears throat> um, one who kicked in the door kind of steps forward and he says, Toretto, you and your associates are under arrest. Motherfucker. Now, he's, he scans all of you, and he sees Sir Barrington, and he says, Oh, Sir Barrington, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. <laughs> and he kind of motions one of the uh, other guards and like, escort he says, out. Escort Mr. Barrington out of here. <laughs> He's like a childhood star. <laughs> and he just It's like party. Can I act like I uh, I'm with out. Can I act like I'm with him? <laughs> can I just be like, oh that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> he, gives, <laughs> he gives this kind of doofy bear grin. He says, Did seeing that like that movement beforehand like give us any kind of like opportunity to make like do something before it happens? Like what, what? Um, you. Well, it was kind of split second, okay. so not really. To knock myself out. Knock <laughs> 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 <Tell> myself out. <laughs> <laughs> he started just. <laughs> In like a split second, yeah. Toretto looks over. It's like this bird guy has somehow tied himself up. <laughs> That's hilarious. I like. I it. didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me. He's deeper. He's got a deep voice. Uh, and the shadowy, uh, clothed gentleman sort of says, uh, Was he not hide under a table? Hmm? Not hide under a table. <laughs> Aren't you, you one of them? <laughs> you could. There's no way Harriet could hide. No. <laughs> no. No. You do. You hide behind like a beam. But you're like obviously <laughs> blur, behind so the I'm beam. That's a big blur, so I'm all blurry. Oh, that's good. What's up with that blurry beam over there? I don't know. It's good I can't quite see um, it. <laughs> you attempt to hide under the table. What's your total? That's 29. 29. That's really good. You do a hang and hide. Um, you are the table, actually. <laughs> but with that many uh, higher level... It's, it's really not one feasible. Of going to see. Uh, yeah, we're pretty uh, SOL. So, how shall we die now? We have. <laughs> I'm doing this partly to uh, cause, like try to build up my cover as well. I gotcha. That's well, they are not playing like they 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 know you. 
or any of the others. Suspicious. We have. Ooh, I go to the kitchen and start cooking. I'm just, I'm just a new chef. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm just a chef. Like you just grab one of the plates. All right, I'll go ahead and get this one back to you yeah. in just a moment, sir. Will, I'm just here to cook. Uh, we have a series of transports. We we'll must take you in now. We would prefer that this be done quietly. Mm, ish. <laughs> does uh, it does. Well. Yeah. From here out. But we look around, everything's <laughs> fucked up. We're like, okay. Uh, <laughs> good job, guys. Something doesn't matter here. He kind of walks over to the bar and sets a, a small ish bag, probably about this size, a bag of, of coins on the, onto the, uh, probably all the bar. And kind of looks over it and says, uh, green. This is for any damages. <laughs> uh, How about emotional? I don't know. He's not amused by that. That's pretty right back. I do this. <laughs> you will quietly come with us or uh, face the consequences. You're with us regardless. So it's either oh. awake and willingly or Dear conscious alive. and unwillingly. Dead or alive. Your, Your choice. Um, since they are. <laughs> Penumbra, I guess we will go with them very quietly and single file line into the caddy shack, or what do you want to call it? Okay. Paddy wagon. Paddy wagon. Paddy wagon. Uh, there are a series of carts. Kind of smaller ones, really. And let's see. Because they're all horseless. As you're leaving, <clears throat> there's a flash of. Flash! Technos ah. light. Light you've never seen before. Yeah. Ooh. And Isora is gone. What? Son of a bitch. That's not what? My love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <you gone. laughs> I'll never give up. <laughs> this is just Quest is forever broken. <laughs> there are four cards. With my new quest. And it's going to be Final two board. people per card. And they they escort you each separately into the car. Toretto and Krishna go in the first one. Um, Harriet and Clank. I'm sorry. Quetzal and Finn are in the second. Harriet and Clank are in the third. And then Mal and Kane are in the last cart. You want to bust out? So can my mount, can my mount follow me? Is my mount all like, hey, it's my motherfucker? Uh, you can like unsummon your mount, can't you, as a paladin? I probably could. Yeah. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I want to make this as complicated as possible. <laughs> we will say for purposes of this that your mount uh, can just be resummoned later. Okay. Like. It can just hang out there. Because I don't think your mount has to eat or drink or anything like that. It's, it's, it's like spectral. He's a chill ass motherfucker, yeah. Um, yeah. Good yeah, about so Is Popeye so with me on. in the Harry Potter? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, actually, on top of Popeye. Like mm. small. This, okay. This is where I'm staying. You will be escorted to Odun Aguron and await question. Four. Yeah, what do we do? What do I do? Nobody say shit. Suspicion <laughs> of theft of Technos from the University of Magi. Me? <laughs> Specifically? Oh, <laughs> Red Oak. Oh, yes. Well, it's Red Oak. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm we just got you. We don't know the guy. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Obviously, there's been a mistake. You are a hard one to kill. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's feathers are ruffled. Oh. oh. That's good. I know. <laughs> you notice, uh, well, number one, <laughs> they don't handcuff you. Uh, uh, that was a mistake. No, that was number yeah, two. I know it was a mistake. Yeah, it's worse. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so like in, inside of the cart, in the kind of center of of the cart, is like a small disc. And these are horse drums. Is is a small disc of material that you recognize. Do the horse know anything? Can Harriet 
Uh, you don't, you don't really have enough time to, 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 to chat with Hey, with let you. me talk to this horse. Wait a second, I gotta hit this horse. <laughs> 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 this is my old horse. It's <laughs> majestic. <laughs> <laughs> is that you, Horatio? <laughs> <laughs> How you been, bro? <laughs> is is a familiar material uh, known as La Vic, which is the anti-magic stone. So, not that many of you have magic. Yeah, but say, so we took something magical, and I look around, I'm like, who took it? <laughs> <laughs> Had two months. Now we're gonna go no. kind of now. Okay, something else. Right. You were put into the cart, and it's just the two pairs. Like it's just a pair of, of individuals. They don't. You're not accompanied by. They like manacle on. With no, they don't. With one exception, um, sort of lead guy does get into the 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 rear cart with Kane and. Motherfuckers. Ah. Now, rough you guys up. We're gonna kind yeah, of. Uh, most likely wants to sneak out. Then they go to criminals. <laughs> we're gonna kind of uh, go to our, 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 our yeah. so, no. and see if there's any uh, kind of dialogue. I know of some dialogue that needs to happen in yeah, the first and final sure. card, um, but we'll see what the middle ones if they want to chat about anything. <coughs> so you got a little bit of time in the cards here. You know, Finn, uh, I, I found myself wondering how we got ourselves into this situation. This is our second client. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm just here so I don't Toretto get fired. Addresses Christian. He says, uh, he kind of crosses his arms. He says, uh, where do you hail from? From East. Paladin. That's right. Follower of some use. Yes. You got it. Why did you choose to become a paladin? Slavery is a blight on the land. So it is. I want to see it gone. I know it will go. For us. It is freaking. Like tensiony. <laughs> you, you actually say I'm it. in the last cart, and I can feel that tension up there. No, no I thought you were I with noticed. him. Are you not with him? No, I'm it's with, all sexual. I'm with Kane. Oh. <laughs> you, can tell, so, you can tell, by the way, that all of the items that you possess that are magical don't don't give off any sort of telltale magicness because of being in the cart. The Treader's eyes still glow. Uh, he says. Uh, Sense of greater power than you. He touches your inner thigh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Do tell. But it is unlocked, or locked rather, uh, hidden. Are you sure he doesn't do that? Do you. <laughs> it is possible for. Individuals of power like my own to unlock, tap into the hidden power mm. for you. To what end? You will gain access, perhaps, to more magic than you have now. Mm. More power. Out of power game. Sorcerer. He could multi last in a sorcerer. Nice. Is that something that you wish to aid you in your quest? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. He, uh. Wait, right. uh -oh. yes. He moves blindingly <laughs> fast. <laughs> and his right hand slams into your chest. Oh. <laughs> into your groin. <laughs> <laughs> there is a flash of energy, magic, power. Which shouldn't happen in the presence of that. 
cereal in the cart. Nice. But it happens anyway. And you feel a searing pain in your chest. That slowly subsides as you're kind of going along. Uh, and you can kind of feel uh, a slight. It's very, it's very faint. It's fainter than it would normally have been because you're in that, that magic suppressing cart. But you do feel faint tingles uh, of magic. Uh, so you can, out of game, you can now, if you wish, make the pass into sorcerer. Excellent. Oh. Uh, <laughs> whatever format that takes, there is a dragon, the dragon format of sorcerer. Pretty cool. um, that would kind of be more on the role play side of it, but if you wanted to go Divine Soul, it's certainly feasible. Because he just unlocked the hidden power, it could be dragon oriented, it could be otherwise. So. Yeah, if she picked uh, gold or red dragon, that it would be pretty powerful. After that, he sits back down and says, uh, Have you ever been to. Have it on. I have not. You know what it is. I have not. It means the hidden nightmare. It's a maximum security prison yeah, underneath the guild building. Uh -huh. Goes down pretty deep. Too. Is this the morning? No, this is a. Hard to escape. Not impossible, but hard to escape. Should we need to? I don't suppose. Uh, I'm not. I'm not unsure as to how. <laughs> well, now I think the giant piece. Actually. Help yourself. Let's see. Mm. I have some friends on the inside and the outside, so <clears throat> we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Can I ask you a over. question? Yeah. What does it mean to multi-class? What does that mean? So Mom right was now, them earlier and it's confusing as hell to me. You <laughs> are a ranger, right? Mm -hmm. Right, that is your class. Mm -hmm. Multi-class would be to take levels in a different class. So like ranger rogue or ranger wizard oh. or ranger monk. So it just you can choose more possibilities yeah. of what you can do. So mm -hmm. yeah, yes. the benefits okay. are that you get a wider array of. It's like it basically gets more complicated. Get. But nice. the drawback is that you wouldn't be able to earn some of the really high level yeah. things of the class that you're currently in. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, so like it's, you, it's a trade off. Yeah. So okay. you don't get don't like you don't that. just suddenly get the stuff. Like so, say that we're, we're level level six right now, and you're I'm level six ranger. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to go into barbarian or whatever, then you would get all the stuff from level one barbarian. But you wouldn't get anything more from Ranger until you took another rank in Ranger. Yeah. So you could take and three levels of Barbarian and then come back and then you would get the seventh level of Ranger. Right. So you just follow that chart. And what oh. that means is that you could never reach the 20th level of the perks other. of the Ranger. Got it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. The next card, second card is Quetzal and Finn. Is there any kind of conversation you wish to have? Nothing of substance. Yeah, that <laughs> uh, was. Um, like he might have something of substance. Wait, now is, like, is there a magic blocker thing in Rift Part Two? Oh yes, every part. <laughs> so my hyper bubbles won't work. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you just you just. Hold on, hyper mouth mouth. Pretending. Okay. That is just fine. I still vote the. Harry and Clank. Was that still vote the tavern thing? Slow juniors. <laughs> I, I ask you if it's okay if I fly around on like your, that. your, uh, what's it called? Pork? Yeah. Uh, no, not pork. Um, perg. 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 No, yeah. perf. It's perg. Perg. So, I just, we just fly around. Right here. Yeah. I, I fly around that thing. Like Popeye small. squawking. And then I get, like, really upset. I'm like, I'm going to flex a bonus out of here, but nothing happens. So I'm just, like, really small, like, yelling like a Super Saiyan. <gasps> <laughs> and nothing happens. <laughs> Three episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just standing there watching. Freeze the song all over again. <laughs> yeah. it, absolutely. Um, okay. Is now, is this like these these carts? Are they like jail cell type carts? Yeah, it's like a prison cart. But Popeye can't fly out. That is accurate. 
Why not? Papa, I gotta get help. The yeah, right. bars are too close. Stuck to in you. a well. Yeah, stuck in a well. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember I don't know how it's going. Mel and Kane, you are in the <coughs> final cart with the sort of leader of that particular little band of, or large band of a number of agents. And he leans back and he, uh, says, well, that was dramatic. Didn't really mean for that to be so dramatic, I guess, but uh, occasionally if a number has to have a little bit of flair. My name is Elon. You're Kane, of course. And now, yes. Member of the sickle. Well, next. Still trying to re-infiltrate them as well. Oh, of course. We had trackers in your cards. That's how we were able to find them. It's just the exact plot too fast to yep. do this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching a lot of Fast and Furious, haven't you? He like binged them all <laughs> yeah. before no. building. No, First he went to start a marathon two months ago, and we haven't done it yet. You're going to build a new marathon. This guy comes out of nowhere called Dit or the King Diesel Van. And Mal, you have heard of this place. You've probably actually seen maybe some of the upper levels of it, but it is. It sort of translates roughly to hidden nightmare. This place. It is a uh, house? maximum security prison that is held deep underneath nice. the guild hall. <laughs> Specifically, underneath the number training ground. Uh, so it I'm has. I'm actually probably really familiar with. Yeah, it has. 26 levels down. It kind of spirals. Like 16 more. Like they go from just Vacuum City. City. Kind of. Kind of like that, yes. Um, there are cell blocks A through Z. And the further, each subsequent level is more secure. <laughs> yes. The further, the further down you get, just for the more heinous of crime. <clears throat> uh, each cell block spirals in a sort of semicircular format, and by the time it reaches the other side of it, it's approximately 50 more feet down. Each cell block is separated by adamantium, thick adamantium gates. Thick. Um, <laughs> there is <coughs> technically one weakness, which is there's a central elevator that you have to have a multiple security. Uh, you have to have a specific key card held by one of the adamantium golems that patrol the halls. Which are probably controlled by a wizard inside an adamantium box. Um, <laughs> they are controlled from the center of the number training area. Because if there's one place you don't infiltrate, it's that. Uh, place riddled with penumbra training. <laughs> yes. Very, very <clears throat> scary. Uh, the upper levels are uh, occasionally just almost just like default holding cells. Uh, Pretty ordinary. Yeah. And he tells you guys. We have recently picked up an individual. That's a liar, because we didn't do it. <laughs> who has important information about the sickle. You're all familiar with <coughs> the mistress, yes. The yes. of the sickle. <coughs> well, it turns out, we found out recently, that she is not a leader. She's a figurehead. Trouble is, 
We don't really know who the leader is. But this person, who I'll describe you momentarily, has information on one of the uh, sort of lieutenants of the leader. Which will get you a little closer, Kane, to fulfilling that. Uh, the sickle is becoming more of a problem. It's our screen. dealt with as soon as possible. The individual that we have in the hidden nightmare. Her name is Jolene Oakbeck. Jolene! <laughs> that almost was my other character's name. She's a dwarven rogue. Sweet. That's it's important. Uh, Mal, you have heard of Jolene. Uh, you've actually probably met her once or twice, but she takes on high end uh, sort of assassination jobs for them. You said dwarf rogue? Dwarven rogue. Yeah. And she's the one that. Uh... She's the one that, that they have in custody. Okay. Evil E-L-A-N. Okay, just make sure it's anything weird. It's not anything weird. <laughs> That's what an E and E. She knows much okay. about the so sickle, including information about the sickle's leader. At the very least, the lieutenant that she answers to. Go. Go on, I go. Okay. This whole thing is to get you down there. This whole arrest? Yes. Okay. That seems, that seems about our style. <laughs> you will interrogate her. And then you will take care of the problem. I take her out to eat? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking care of the problem. No, they need to figure out who the actual leader is and then Swallow kill that person. Her. You mean pressure here. not kill them. <laughs> no, befriend them. Julian is a known murderer of high priority targets. Her life is forfeit. Get the information and take her out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Is that clear? So we're hitmen. Can I just gulp? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not there. It's the two rogues in that car. With well, me. I'm in the car with her. I'm like, I think we're gonna kill Is somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a bad Billy about the murderous spirit. spirit. Oh, yo, yoinks! <laughs> Yeah, what did you ask? Is that a contract? I suppose so. Ah. Call for that dollar. I like where he's thinking. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mo money, mo problems. No. You all have come into considerable amounts of money. But that was because you attacked a uh, long, sort of ancient tomb. Uh, so that kind of. Kind of and kind of then we literally gambled almost all of it, <laughs> <laughs> almost <laughs> immediately, yeah. well, and won it all. You spent a whole bunch of money. The only money from the street race? Yeah, we won a shit ton from the street you race. You did. You like, yes. like triple like our money. Like it was like You put, you put it went, eight thousand like, in. It went into the. We put a lot into the party. Okay. It was. Yeah, it was all for the party funds. funds. The broke as fuck, right? No, it was all party funds. Okay. Well, so you're still broke. Well, I don't know. Well, uh, well, we are not. Man. Collectively, we are not. You as an individual, uh, you pre break. Hey, I won the race. Call me GK. She is being held ah. in cell block M. Um, to uh, quote a wise old sage. Don't fuck around. It is a wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> you must be cautious. Is that Socrates? <laughs> Socrates. So what is that movie? Solo crates. Solo crates. Diesel that goes yeah. into the jail. Riddick? Riddick? You're Riddick. You're Riddick? Oh, is that, totally is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Like, he's, he's real high on the Vin Diesel train. No, that's cool. I'm cool with that. I love that game, too. That was that. It's that was, a great game. Yeah, it's a good game. game. I, I, I can't wait to see the voodoo yeah. guy. So Mal uh, wants to ask this guy, so we have to kill her. Jolene. Jolene. Yes. We have to kill her. <laughs> about the killing part. <laughs> yes. It will be easy, I think, for you. Anytime individuals are transferred into this place, they are stripped of all of their items. 
You had the spare butt cheeks. However, <laughs> you you butt cheeks. that's later. <laughs> uh, we have individuals that will get you what you need. Do you sneak anything in a prison wallet? Wow. No. <laughs> no. No. That's really. But that's what's really the question? Terrible. He <laughs> said, <laughs> "Can we stick anything in the prison wallet?" <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a good I mean, thing for uh, that. <laughs> Theoretically, you could, yeah. but that wouldn't feel very nice. I've got two wallets. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've seen, you've seen sports oh, 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 Why well, stop there? <laughs> <laughs> More like a bag of <laughs> When the time is right. And we will... What? Uh, bag of holding. We will organize all of that. Well, the magic don't work. Yeah, it is. Uh, for you. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a little uh, cloth bag right now. Your, your items. Way. All this shit just spills out of it. <laughs> no, it's it's stuck in the actual plane. Oh. Uh, when that bag turns back on, it it works. We'll see. Sit tight and wait. Understood. No, no one else knows that that's really what's going on. Yeah, you so, know. No one else we're just being arrested. And there's like a fair bit of tension. <laughs> I'm innocent, though. I tell you. Um, I don't know, because most of you are new to this uh, city. It's been two months. Maybe, actually, a little bit more than two months since you've been there. So you may have heard at this point of the Hidden Nightmare prison. But... Um, what you've heard has been rumor, and it's terrifying rumor at that. I uh, constantly tell her, I'm like, we gotta take out the biggest guy there. Yeah. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. 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 I can't do it. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be your bitch. Alright, we got this. <laughs> I'm somebody's bitch. <laughs> Are there Dementors? Uh, no. I hope not. The place is controlled <laughs> by Adamantium Golems. Ooh. What's that? Close enough to the strongest kind of metal and a yeah. construct made by someone magical. Yeah. Yeah. The golem would be a construct of some sort of like, a big old giant. You know, almost pain. indestructible. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Adamantium's what's in. They uh, have. Yeah. Mm, okay. Put it to you this yeah. way: they have a very high challenge rating. <coughs> would be very difficult. Very smashy, deathy. Yes. <laughs> they have insanely high AC. Hit points and output high damage. Give me a mace full of oil. What's AC? It's a uh, rust monster eater. Uh, mace full of uh, oil. Like air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, they see. Damn, witch. Three and a half. Yeah, we still got their winner. Did you forget? Take the cop right away. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you forget about him? At least. No, he's a beast. <laughs> he's still in the books. Even now. Who? I'm sorry. Oh, really? After eight. Dang. Oh. Yeah. He's a beast. Yeah. Beast. You arrive at, strangely enough, the guild hall, the main guild hall here in the city. It's not as big as the one, as like the actual primary guild hall, uh, guild hall in, Sartek, in City. Sartek City, but I don't know that any of you have really ever been to Sartek City. No so work, West Coasters. Huh? <laughs> yes, you're West Coasters, yes. I squirted out. It's very nerve wracking uh, because all of the agents that were in the tavern are there, like waiting for you. They weren't in the carts with you. And you didn't see any of them, like, on the carts outside. So they have some alternative means of, of hasty transportation. <sighs> You're escorted in. And in the sort of center of the guild hall building, there is a small processing area. There's a little goblin dude. Goblin bro. Sitting Pre sitting on like a high stool. <laughs> Pre <-book>. uh, <laughs> um, See a very high stool behind a, 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 a like a maybe four foot high or so counter space. And he says, I need 
introduce the guys. And Elon, of course, steps up and says, yep. All right. Turn in your items. And he kind of hands you all uh, <coughs> orange jumpsuits. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said there's any other and colors. There are like changing <laughs> rooms where you can basically strip yourself of all of your items. Do I get a trial here? Why is he getting thrown in the prison? For... Think of uh, Mario Bros. Kind of like that. We're about to be. I mean, we go in, we just break down, we go in. He just just came into really a bar, oh, didn't even ask me my name, just shoved me in a car, <laughs> take me to prison, and just throw me there. Like, I know my Elin. rights. Okay. I know oh, my hang rights. On, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Elin. Turns calmly, <laughs> holds out his hand, and uh, the sort of shadow around him sort of materializes into a dagger. Yep. And he says, "He gonna fuck you up." <laughs> Is there a problem here? Uh, I was just curious. No one came in and asked my name. They just threw me in a cart and took me to prison. <laughs> you know, are there, were the only people in that bar like part of the gang? There's not just regular people that walk off the streets and just not bar and get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> just grab it and throw it in jail. <laughs> Everybody here, get in. Get in. <laughs> Everyone's arrested. Uh, I just don't know what I'm being arrested for, and I feel like, you know, I have a chance to explain. I this. slowly I step away I from him. Yeah. I don't know this guy. I'll be really I'll be really He's just all bad. Yeah, you're probably just calling me like that. Uh, all will be made known with time. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you in yeah. Prison yeah. Yeah, yeah you're suit. in jail. You're in the big house. So. Put on your prison suit. Ooh. Get comfortable. How are these prison suits made with all of the different people we have? Uh, like, they they have. <laughs> they imagine. have numerous different sizes. They're like saying up. Uh, so like. I'm just trying to picture this and picture. For Harriet, for Harriet, it's like pretzel a, a in a jumpsuit. It's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> it's a potato sack. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all. Yeah. They're tuning it to you. Stretch out. No, They're just okay. huge gowns. <laughs> you have to use Moon like moves. little tie <laughs> 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 yeah. Pretzel, what is your armor class? 19. Alright. Backhand you. He backhands <laughs> the <laughs> shit out of you. Last time someone hit me, I killed him. That was a lot. He's going back. <laughs> and then I died. <laughs> I'll die again if I have to. He's probably going to do non-lethal damage. Hopefully it doesn't do double your hit points that it kills you uh, by accident. Oh, Lord. I need more dice. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> What'd you do, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking a question. <laughs> uh, you, you's about to learn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> How many Wait, here, you want some more dice? There's some over here. <laughs> no, we're good. Okay. Oh, you almost forgot your D4, didn't you? I did. That the rest of the sneak attack, isn't it? Uh, yes. That's crazy. Uh, 76. 12, 16, 17, 18, 25, plus 4 is 29. Okay, 29 points. Uh, it's non lethal damage. He throws the dagger in such a way the, 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 that the, the pummel hits you, clocks in, you in the face. face. <laughs> <laughs> and it is painful. Hard. Come on, let me get this badge number. You got a scar. I'm going to report you. Yeah. <laughs> you know my father. <laughs> the, the dagger disappears from the ground after it hits you and it rematerializes in his hand. And he says, Do we have a problem here? Any more yeah. questions? You might as well just kill me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm a bird person. I have rights. <laughs> You're still in prison. <laughs> I yelled at you. I, you, I yelled the only thing I was saying to you. Pretty awesome. He can speak. He can speak. Fine. But he also he chooses to call. <laughs> okay. 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 Like, if you know the word avian language, it's yeah, like, what, or why, or no, stupid uh, shit. Kind of 
The bird? Thing? Yeah, no, he, he speaks. Up. He's saying something in bird language, but it's either something. Like he had stepped away <laughs> already, and he's back, and he's in his orange jumpsuit. Who? And he like grips your your shoulder. He says, uh, "You're fine." Look, he's so powerful. If you fight this, they will kill you. Until you understand that. Uh, I get it. But, you know, some things are worth dying for. Sometimes you gotta fight for your rights. <laughs> to <part. laughs> And I'll leave it be. <laughs> he, like, after he has... Because he kind of gripped your shoulder. He begins to lead you away. Um, his is like, like two one of the changing. Mm-hmm. No! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Right? <laughs> but uh, his strength is absurd. A lot of prison jokes. There are. I get it. Alright. Don't drop the song. I'll have his job. Yeah. Yeah. By the end of this, when I'm proven innocent, I'll have his job. Yes, of course. You'll make the finest of toilet wines. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I will. That's amazing. Oh my god, yeah, you'll be selling wine. I love that. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Adapt. Wine. And gourmet ramen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> so does everyone, other than the pretzel, <laughs> the sassafras? The does Popeye have a little outfit too? Oh, I love that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, good. He needs one. <laughs> I was, I, I was kind of thinking that he would like stay hidden in your. Harry Pockets. Mm. But, uh, Those are fans. I was flying. <laughs> but having to <laughs> fly in like little tiny jumpsuit for him is just hilarious. I'm That's like, adorable. It is. Yeah. It's great. So cute. It's sleeveless, so he can like flap still. <laughs> yeah. I say we steal this jumpsuit. <coughs> yes. <laughs> just that one. Just to dress him up every once in a while. Yeah. For <laughs> Halloween, you're a prisoner. Yeah. Again. <laughs> uh, the Fiftieth year, year in a row. <laughs> It actually does mean hidden nightmare in uh, the dragon language. From Skyrim? From Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you head down, at, at that point, you head down a series of stairs. And you're led down a somewhat lengthy hallway that is very nondescript and has doors every so often. Uh, down, like, along each wall. They are closed and they don't have any sort of view finder, like view, view ports on the doors. You can't really see from them. Can you immediately recognize this as one of the sort of uh, training halls Within a number. Okay. <clears throat> your head, you're sort of led further down. It's a straight, it's a long straight hallway. It seems almost like it runs further than the, the sort of exterior dimensions of the guild hall. It's a very large complex, and you reach a uh, huge. <coughs> doorway and it's got barred doors and, and, and an agent on the side pushes a button and the doors slide open just with a faint hiss and you are all escorted inside of the elevator escorted by Elon precisely Elon Musk <coughs> Elon <coughs> And you start heading down, and you can see through other bars, very narrow bars, that appear to be made of a very dark metal, the different levels. And you see in the upper levels you have uh, 
it almost looks more like a like a federal kind of prison like it's kind of a nicer yeah decent living conditions somewhat tennis more, court somewhat more spacious uh and lit and, and well lit places <laughs> lit as, nice as you, <laughs> this is lit this is down <laughs> there's there were distinct shifts every level and you can see that the uh, sort of clientele within each level becomes more and more uh, shady, terrifying, if you will. Uh, not a place for decent, normal type folks. Uh, you don't get far enough to see the really bad stuff, but you can tell that in addition to the change of the visual uh, of prisoners, there's a distinct increase in security as well. So you have, there's more goals. There are even a handful of penumbra agents that control the hallways. Mm. Um, that's not really a gig you want to get as a penumbra agent, just because it's kind of boring. Uh, but Prison guard? Nah, that would kind yeah. of suck. It's, it's, it's kind of reserved train <laughs> assassin. A, a prison yeah. guard. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of reserved for <laughs> they do that. Uh, agents who get into some trouble with the guild uh, or who are poor, so doing poorly at the job. Yeah, that kind of thing. It's like, well, if you can't do your job right, we'll just put you down in the prison. You can do that for a while. Because it's not hard. Yeah. So make sure you talk shit to these guys. Sometimes other people get. Like, you know, actual, actually efficient people get it on, on occasion, but it's pretty rare. Sometimes you have to do that. You know, like, so, kind of cycle through that work, work set. Probably the only ones that can, can work down here are ones that can conjure their own weapons. <coughs> the way a prisoner gets in one. Um, Finn would have, like, cried taking off his belt. I know. Uh, I know. Okay. And it was definitely taken away from him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's just in tears. Just it, destroyed. Yeah. The <laughs> it would have been a, a, a sad day for some of that stuff. Yeah. It's not gone forever. No, but he's. He, he, thinks, it's gone, he thinks it's gone forever. Well, Finn doesn't know really what's going on other than he's just get arrested. He looks quite slow. He's just get wrong police, police brutality. <laughs> <laughs> He's just constantly up there squawking. He's going to join the Avian Brotherhood now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this. Oh my god. The Avian Brotherhood. Tat it up. Like, <laughs> swole. <laughs> Start looking nice. You're already pretty strong anyway. You can tell. Um, sort of. It's, it's kind of small, but in the elevator itself there is a kind of table for the different levels. And it sort of shows, it lists some of the crimes that are on each level. level. Um, you have like petty theft and stuff like that or an A and it sort of gets progressively more severe. Oh, she's an M. And then, yeah. for murder, oh, yeah. Yeah. and then like Z, the really bad stuff is for like, Demon uh, lords. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get things. <laughs> 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 the worst, the worst, the worst, first, first degree murderers, child rapists, that kind of thing. Put the toilet paper roll backwards. Bad. <laughs> no, that was that was that was real, like people who talk in the theater. Yeah. yeah. Like, What'd you do? Uh, Bluetooth people that Top have their three. shit shoved away in there and put their hair over it. <laughs> <laughs> that talk to people in the bathroom. <laughs> Those two. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, you know, you know just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or they go uh, to the next stall next to you, even though there's like four of them. It, yeah. Uh, it kind of cuts off at level at, at together. Sub block N. <laughs> Anyone that <laughs> that that is assigned, like in in the after the trial format, yeah, is assigned to sub block M and lower, they have to participate in the prisoners' tanker every year. Which is where a big they fight, them, they fight the arena, arena. Ooh, which sure makes right. enough money every year to fund the prison. 
Ooh. Yeah. So there are prison stews. That's, 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 that's how I totally see it. That's how they are the prison. It actually serves multiple purposes. Number one, it gets rid of a bunch of really bad people. And number two, it makes enough money to fund the prison for the rest of that year. Uh, which is really great. I think they probably, use the money out to steal the people, innocent people's possessions, but whatever. <laughs> I think that'd fund the prison. Who doesn't? Uh, <laughs> it's fucking bird. Can I not be with him? <laughs> what is interesting <laughs> and different well, what I think Quetzal, because he's so mad, but his, 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 he's his, mad. he's very intelligent, would be able to kind of recognize from that list is that technically cell block A is for holding cells prior to trial. Uh, you're being escorted all the way down to cell block M. Ooh. No, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, <laughs> see the violence in here? What the have system. we done? <laughs> My spirit's already broken. I haven't even been inside a prison yet. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you make your way. It finally stops. It takes a long time. This cell block M is like... Maybe uh, seven or eight hundred feet. Is, is there elevator music the whole time? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you, Zach. Will you give me one too, please, yes. Sarah? Well, yes, there is. Uh, and do, 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 as it plays and 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 goes down, uh, the cat calling. From the prison cell starts, and what would you say? every time, the reds. every time they bring in new people, they they put the prison in lockdown, and everybody goes back to the cell so that there's no crazy random stuff happening. Uh, uh, so when you get down there, you're escorted out. Ever seen you drink a beer? You see, it's crazy. yeah, it's it's you, <laughs> you see people looking at you. Looking at you hungrily, almost, <laughs> from each of the cells. We mean mug them back. Uh, <laughs> the whole time, your, your character's sitting there just tearing. Just, I am just <laughs> covered in tears. <laughs> <laughs> like, yell at me! You're like the biggest dude. Yeah. And I'm just crying. You're just your eyes up. You hear one random prisoner say, Oh, no, don't cry. I can make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Stand over and pick that up. Stand over. We're good. Well then. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Poor thing. <laughs> he wouldn't even know how to react. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't know how to react. You have my bow? Yeah, well, <laughs> you help me. Uh, be like the worst mistake that a prisoner would ever try to do. <laughs> Yeah. It's pretty late at this point, by the way. It's uh, it's it's early, early morning hours. Early, like early one, morning, two a.m., three a.m. Getting kind of tired, uh, and you're all escorted into your own cells. Everyone Comfortably cell. cozy in our little prison uh, cell. It is Ooh. certainly not. We're not paired up like we were in the park. <laughs> Immediately start doing pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little uh, mark on the wall. <laughs> I really like the alien brotherhood. <laughs> really really you crazy. see, you see, like uh, a handful of aliens that are like look really gangstery, <laughs> missing <laughs> feathers. <laughs> yeah, they have Just slightly so tattered feathers. You can see, like, because you don't really have exposed skin. So there's some spots they've uh, ripped them so, off. Like, and their beaks are like. Painted, scarred, uh, <laughs> gang signs. Teardrops on their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's really oh, it's it's, oh, it's crazy. This is the best yeah. prison <coughs> I've ever been to. Anyway, how about you guys? Prison made me hard. <laughs> That's not good. This oh. level you can see also uh, seems to be. So there are obviously uh, a handful of adamantium golems who one or two patrol and most then kind of stand. most are kind of standing uh, guard in front of the yeah. elevator. Actually, um, there are yeah. some on either side okay. of each of the cell block and doors and gates. Uh, and you can kind of hear a strange noise. Uh, so it's kind of like growling. Somewhere. I don't think it's us. Somewhere on the cell block. But it's unclear as to 
what it is exactly. You guys it into your cells, which have very uh, uncomfortable is it bunk bed kind of things. Bunk, are bunk we all, are we still in our same two our same couple groups? Uh sure. Yeah. Why not? Bunk bunk beds. Yeah, yes. it's prison. Have you never been to prison, Tommy? I have not. not I guess it's my first time. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I tried to jump on the top bunk. Like yeah, in, in the classic <laughs> uh, Skyrim I, format. Yeah, I grow. <laughs> Uh, the robes, <laughs> that is to say, Cain and Mal, you you were able to to uh, smuggle out one lockpick. Lock pick. <laughs> nice. Uh, in the prison lock. Yeah. Very wow. much in 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 Skyrim, in I guess Elder Scrolls fashion. Yeah. Heck yeah. There's a chest with all Save our shits game. in it, guys. Yeah, we gotta go find <laughs> it. <laughs> There's gonna be guards near it. Or somebody walks by and drops a tray of food that has a dagger or two daggers underneath it. Mm-hmm. We're in the, in the food. Shivs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just sticking out. Gotta get shivs. <laughs> Obviously in Candles. there. It's like a sandwich, but there's like a chisel. The night inside. passes into morning. <laughs> um, likely fitfully, if you slept at all. Yeah, I slept like a baby. I, actually, I don't need to sleep. I sit down. You, you just kind of power down a little bit. I'm just miserable all night. I'm not even sleep. Just deal with pull-ups. Will you take a point of exhaustion? With his bird arms. Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm still. Uh, You're not gonna do anything anyway. <laughs> this is this is the yeah. crucible that puts you into a barbarian. You really channel your. Yes. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, oh my god. Yeah, during me. the night. Like tutoring yeah. me. Your, your cell <laughs> just groupings, so, just your just cell groupings are here. very close to good. <laughs> okay. so bad. They're the only one watch on the server. Yes. So, if there's Hope anything you, you want to talk about before the morning, you can. Good. Um. <laughs> What's up? Snitches get stitches. As we were being led down, did we happen to notice Jolene? Anywhere? Sorry? These two would do that. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I would be doing that. that. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Kane and Mal, give me perception checks, because you're the only ones who know about who Jolene is. Nice. Well, Twelve again. Only two of them. I don't know. Twelve. Natty twenty? Natty twenty. Oh. Twelve. You don't see her, but you okay. smell her. <laughs> you know she's there. No, okay. Because you were told. You definitely see her. Um, she is in the cell across the way, and maybe oh. three or four down from where you guys are. Okay. Can you tell me that came? Oh. Thanks. Now I know. <laughs> I like, as you get into your cell, like, hey, as, look, as, as we're being led there, That's I'll give you like a quick awesome. little nudge. Yeah, okay. Like, just look, there it is. Or you, uh, we don't have to thieves can. Yeah. We're in prison. I'm sure other people yeah. can understand that. Yeah, we don't want to thieves can. <laughs> Another thing uh, that you kind of notice on your town, and this is just for uh, notational purposes, is that in the earlier levels, they were kind of segregated by sex, right? So you have yeah. male and then female, just to avoid that craziness from going on. But later on, oh, damn, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> they're, they're all, all bad. horrible <laughs> people. So uh, this one is non-segregated, obviously, because you're all together. Yeah. yeah. Kind of put together. Um, oh, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah, there anything that you want to discuss that night before the following morning? A plan? Just coaching Bob on what we the know dude is going pissed on. off. <laughs> But do we need the rest of our group off. in on what's going on? Shawshank like, Redemption. My head. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, tiny little, little, uh, spoon like pickaxe. <laughs> yeah. It is. Wasn't it a spoon? I thought it was, it was a spoon. spoon. Yeah. It is, uh, somewhat noisy enough that you can safely whisper to each other. Okay. If like, you felt like you needed to. So, I feel like he and I can talk. We're in the same cell. Yes, absolutely. Should we let them in on any plans that we make? 
what is so our ma- plan? What the maybe, fuck are we doing? Yeah, maybe one of them or two. Don't, of them. don't be a dick. We we could we could try to initiate a beginning conversation so by subtly bringing up our mutual involvement with the sickle that we've been working on over these the past two months here. To, uh, to try to garner a little bit of trust. Ixnay on that bird, Getting eh? get close, and then... Don't freak out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if he knows that you guys actually did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick your eyes out. Um, then if she, she tells us anything, then... Great. And if she's a little more resistant, then... Damn shame. Then, yeah, we, we may want to grab... Uh, Finn. He's yeah. not smart or enough also to like, be, talk but about say, it later. I mean, yeah, well, you grab someone who can, who can do lots of hurting. Yeah, not a lot of thinking. That's me. Like, <laughs> We're talking <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. I'll do anything for my friends. <laughs> I'll fight for my friends. <laughs> yeah. Is that Marth? Who is that? Ike. Ike. Ike, Ike fights for his friends. That's what it is. Okay. Ike? Ike. Yeah. From South Park? Super 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty that, sure that, that was they, never an episode, that guys. So <laughs> yeah. Seen a lot of them. <laughs> Seen a lot. Of them. <laughs> Sorry, that's the only Ike I know. Mm-hmm. Super Smash Brothers. Brothers. Okay, so we talked about our plan. Yeah. I don't guess we really need to let the whole rest of the group in. No one's curious yeah. as to why we're all in jail, though. I'm pretty fucking curious. Bob's pretty fucking I'm curious. Pretty pissed. <laughs> I'm just like, remember this. He already joined the game. Yeah, he's already joined the game. He's usually always like, why? He's always like, why? He's always like, why? He's always like, why? He's always like, sitting in the corner, mixing up like dirt and playing stuff to make his little paint. He's already getting tatted. He's already doing that. Got a toilet and everything's going on. Somehow we already got like a cigarette. I feel like he could make spices out of like the the stuff in the walls and like <laughs> yeah. some dead asbestos, some oh, <laughs> dead God. spider in the corner. I yeah. like the job in the kitchen. You can do that. Um, Here's the thing: how may long will we be down here? Huh? How long will we be down? Long enough for I guess life. Like we can just throw a little bit of the I assume this is my home now. Throw it into a big hole and let it rot. This is what this is what it is. He's already so, making friends. Okay. In the center of like-minded individuals. The <laughs> yeah. cell block, sort of semicircular cell block space. Uh, and it does slope downward somewhat. There are a series of tables. It's actually about 40-ish feet across from like cell door to cell door across the way. There's like So like the shaft in the middle is wide open. And like no, it has like bars. bars, bars, that bars that can when I say wide open, you can see like across, and, and you can like see that. on the higher <laughs> floors, and see yeah. on the lower floors. You can. It's an open tube. Mm-hmm. Then on the, around the outside, there's a spiral that's exactly. only got cells on one side. The other yes. side's a banister, basically, or yes. it's caged. Can I fall in a hole? Yeah. The elevator hole. Uh, you shaft. Could. I don't recommend it. That's where so shaft came so you could fall. Shaft. That's a far enough the drop. Well. If you managed to get in there without the elevator being there, yeah. and you fell from where you are, that's like a 500 foot drop. Oh, split. Good hole. Which is basically. Oh, that's what I was just thinking. What is that? <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> you can. And you can be shot down really quick. God, I would love to see that happen. I encourage <laughs> this. That's how I am. You're blind! Shoot us, concentration. <laughs> just take him. He's there running. is a. He could be the distraction. Boy, at night, I want to. <laughs> Was that a long rest? Operation Human Shield. Go! We will say, for <laughs> purposes of this, that you all got a long rest. Okay. Yay! But it wasn't very restful. Yeah, it wasn't great. Assholes bumming cigarettes and shit. Um, Some full health, man. Yeah. So you may get. <sighs> it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. You've already had your really shitty breakfast at around 7 in the morning. And then at 8, all of the cell doors open up. Party. And people begin to kind of mill around and 
sit down. There's like a workout area somewhere. Yeah. Because you got nothing else to do. Yeah. Might as well train. You dragged me along to train straight for the workout area. Now I gotta hang out with the birds. <laughs> uh, oh. Now, knowing that 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 these guys have to fight in the arena every year. A lot of them are trained. A lot of them are super trained up and very like swole, like skilled fighter types. And they fight a lot. Um, Scholars too. You do notice, however, that there is significant respect for Toretto. Uh, maybe it's his glowing eyes. Maybe he's been in there before. <laughs> it's a reputation. <laughs> maybe he recognizes. It's unclear, <laughs> but so nobody saw uh, it. There's a silver, silver dragon dude that we met the last. He's been Diesel. He, yeah, he's uh, been uh, Diesel. Okay. <laughs> he's good for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, where'd I, make that, where'd I make that up from? I don't know where you got a turtle person. He's not a turtle. He's a... Doesn't everyone know? He looks what? like a human. Yeah. Uh, did you tell them? I don't know. I don't know that I would say that out loud for no reason at all. <laughs> well, no, they probably don't. They just think he's a human with shiny eyes. Okay. Yeah. But he may have known because of his high apologies that he is the dragon. What about blue glowing eyes? Yeah, so yeah. blue eyes white dragon. That's These two might know he's a dragon <laughs> because of his intelligence or experience, and Crowley may have, but that otherwise none of us know what the f- that he's a fucking no. dragon. You just know that his eyes are shiny. Do they his know his eyes are shiny? And he's really cool. The majority of the prisoners give him a fairly wide berth. Oh yeah, no one fucks with him. And like, don't really mess with him. That's Riddick's son. And you see Thank why. You. When a new guy comes and fucks trying to make a name for himself, <laughs> comes Picks up wrong and starts one. starting shit with Toretto. <laughs> Bites his ass in half, Luke King style. Ooh, and, shit. uh, you know, he's like, Foo's Toretto! <laughs> <laughs> Down the shaft! <laughs> That's really funny. That's so uh, <coughs> so what are you in for. He's like this, this big, uh, Half over kind of like he's a big dude. Big. He's probably as big as Harry. Big a boy. In terms of height and, and like musculature. And uh Trotto looks and he says, uh, I'm just passing through. <laughs> 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 Make sure at the end when you oh, upload these to YouTube, uh, you just reference that movie. <laughs> just, yeah. Just don't, just don't. Oh, man. That's great. Oh, oh man. Do you want to use that line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the maximum highest security person on Earth, if not the universe. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just passing through. Okay. Yeah, I'm just passing through. Oh, you can get out of Butcher Bay, you can get out of anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. I kind of laughed a little. And then, without provocation, he goes. He starts with a <laughs> haymaker punch to, to Toretto. To Toretto, <laughs> he like breaks his hand and like, <laughs> wham, just hits him right in the face. And he, he like, doesn't gasp. Budge. Or hasn't moved. It doesn't budge. Uh, and the guy kind of pulls back and he's like, oh. oh. <laughs> 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 I made it too soon, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> when that when that hit, and it's pretty loud. It like kind of resounds. It was like a tonk, around, like you hit a big piece of metal. People start to get around, and uh, <clears throat> kind of moves over to. Uh... <laughs> All right, we're doing this. I yep. guess he walks over to one of the tables, <laughs> and there's a metal. There's like a little metal teacup. What the fuck? Is this a scene? Yeah, it's it's a scene for the movie. Oh, nice. And he sets it on the table, right? The table. And he says, uh, do that again. I'll kill you with this teacup. (laughs) 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 So, and he's like, the guy's mad, and you can tell that he really hurt his hand when he punched right in the face. Like, mad. (laughs) He's not really showing it because he, you know, he's, he's kind of used to pain and stuff. <clears throat> and he goes to punch with the other hand. The other hand this time. <laughs> Still doesn't Before make a punch. Before the blow lands, Toretto grabs the cup, flips it upside down, slams it in the table, so that the sort of 
opening becomes jagged. And he shoves it into the guy's chest and twists it. Uh, and there's a huge gout of blood. Uh, he just falls over like like backwards. Like <laughs> punches a hole through. Dead. And then start calling him one punch man. <laughs> you can tell uh, that the respect grew considerably at that point, and like the fact that you all associate yourself with Toretto <laughs> puts you in the safe zone. Yeah, like nobody is gonna mess with you. I'm somebody's bitch. No. <laughs> They know. They're like, oh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> so good. Potato. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people get that reference. Oh. Uh, Dragon Ball Z a bridge. Yep. That's uh, <laughs> the, a few the guy from the first season. Napa. That Napa, Napa. 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 Yeah. The old guy who came back as a ghost from Hollywood or whatever. Like, Vegeta. 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 Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on, indeed. You have some time to kill, so to speak, yep. in the prison down here. I've got plenty um, of time to kill. You are... Did I hear you say this? <laughs> like, do you start, you like, you smile, you do this? <laughs> in a respectful kind of manner. Sort of by up like a couple of oh, yeah. Arabians. Okay. Uh, on this level. <laughs> <laughs> I really want you to like start coming up with like really generic They, stories they, to call they them start them talking to you about you how Andy's the master about. race <laughs> and how um, all, all other races should be subjugated to aliens and how they, they just hate most other races except the aliens. Your wife got this kind of yeah. yeah. And that they, they call themselves the Avian sure. Brotherhood. Yeah, okay. I don't care. Um, making good points. Making good points here. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I after, <laughs> like Finn would spend the first yeah, I guess I day or two probably time. sulking and staying in his bed, but then after two or three days, he realizes this isn't that bad. There's basically food and a workout place, and that's oh, all yeah. he wants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It's like this is the, like, and no one's actually picking on him or really messing with him because. I keep no. talking to Toretto, so Finn's just clueless, and he's actually starting to have a good time. Work out all the time. <laughs> once he once calls it camp. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. It's like, it's like camp. A nightmare. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. He, <laughs> like, his his <clears throat> renown, so to speak, within the prison uh, sort of mm-hmm. protects you, even so, like, you can go off and kind of do your own thing, because they know that if they mess with you, He's well, they know him. that I know what him. Yeah. Number one, he's really not that far away. Because does everyone know we know him kind of or just yeah. Finn? No, we all yeah, walked right. in with him. Is what okay. so, I don't know. Finn, I don't Finn, know. Finn, Finn doesn't really understand that, but the rest yeah, of you can kind of work out. Yeah, we're gonna work out. The avian brother. The avian brother. That's yeah. all Finn do. Oh man, that's so funny. Got to harness my rage, harness my power, my anger. Lunchtime comes. I can't burp. It's equally that. terrible. Like, very bad. Uh, scrap prison food. Using what what you're given, you can kind of make it a little bit better by like mixing the different formats of the slop that you get <laughs> in unique ways. Uh, and you can kind of make it a little more tolerable, but it's still not great. Yeah, I'm also going to try to pursue a job in the kitchen. Let me hook you guys up. Let me help you guys out here. Arcane chef. Uh, I don't know that they have ever had an arcane chef in the prison before. Uh, it's very easy for you to get that kind of work. Uh, I've done it. Yeah. You're running that place. I'm sure there's a different prison that was doing that. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right. This is my job now. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Oh, I know you've been here the past 13 years. I know years. Right I'm part of the Avian Brotherhood. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 The Avian Brotherhood controls the kitchen. Oh, okay, good. That's perfect. Yeah. 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 I'm going to take your pull chop. <laughs> so it was super easy, right? <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. That wouldn't actually be good that they did control that. So maybe they did. Yeah, but yeah. But you can eat. 
Because they would poison a lot of people. A lot of people. people. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyone non avian I feel. But, but you can... Uh, poison you can, everyone that's not avian. You, you, you can do it yourself. To that. Game over, everybody. <laughs> TPK for everyone except that. The lone survivor. The day continues. And it gets to... Like, for Finn, it's totally fine. Because as long as he's got something to like work out yeah, and do that kind care. of thing, it's fine. But you guys start to get bored. I mean, fast. There's nothing to do. And like, they uh, don't really know all what's happening, right? So, like, yeah. I want to throw out the know? day. No one knows. No, 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 no one knows. Uh, uh, side eye. <laughs> just doing the game. Jolene person to see. Like, <laughs> yeah, she right. has like a circle that she runs in. Or she's kind of loaded. She has... Mm, I like it. It's that's a great question. Uh, she has a handful like of <laughs> associates oh, down sorry, there. Sure Whether or not they're part of the okay. sickle, you're unsure. <laughs> but she does run with a small group. Um, she actually, at one point during that time frame, does approach Mal. Uh, and you have... Jolene? Yeah. Because you're both... <laughs> she, she doesn't know that you have sort of turned to join the primary, like... The music. good side. Uh, she assumes... She just still thinks that you're part of the sickle. Mm -hmm. And she kind of walks up and does Thieves Can't and asks you... The code? What are, you, what are you down here for? Oh, that can't be something petty because we're an M. But we... They thought that we stole the artifact from the university. <laughs> of course <I'm. laughs> She kind of she looks a little confused and says theft isn't this far down. There could be other charges. Uh, you know. Collateral damage. <laughs> you know me, Joe Lane. <laughs> so, I'm probably I'm, I'm, just, I'm probably there with her and I'm, you and probably I'm hop in. back, it's like You got a little complicated. <laughs> apparently it was a lot of our tech for whoever did take it. A what? He said apparently it was a lot of our tech. Okay. So for whoever did take it. See. Not us. Try to. Yes. Well, because we're ants. <laughs> right, but we're trying to get. She, yeah, she's not. not. She motions. Right. Just like all those people I can kill. Exactly the same. I also want to start that's, a bunch of rumors about, right there, that's about right. how you got in prison. You <laughs> 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 heard like a hundred different ones. Various, various rumors. Of you know, murder. Of rumors, and okay. things, you can have like the, the king's you know, son or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like just, just various, gotcha. various rumors. All right. <laughs> you don't tell the same story twice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's our favorite lunch um, lady. <laughs> it, it, it spreads. Like it spreads. <laughs> Uh, nobody's sure what's right or wrong. It's good. <laughs> they believe you're a killer. I'm notorious. <laughs> like they, the, the well, fact. Technically, I am a killer. Yeah, that's it was. Nice. It was kind of bolstered too by the fact that you are directly associated with Toretto, yeah. who is like a beast. Uh, around three ish, four o'clock or so in the afternoon is uh, sort of shower cleaning time, which is not. What you may expect. Um, is that what we got from the conversation with uh, Jolene? What did you want to ask her? Something? I, I want to ask her how she, why she's here. Like, oh, same question, question back. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. We'll go back to that. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is important stuff. She, <laughs> she motions. Uh, I know. Got caught. Doing. <laughs> stuff. Mm -mm. In a she noble does that when she starts to get a urine infection. Do it. <laughs> Contract. Okay. Almost got that kid. Oh. That's right, we're an M. <laughs> I didn't say, oh, disgustedly at her. Right. Like, oh, good I job, know, bitch. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Sigle. Hashtag Sigle. Who's in the Sigle? Whatever. Whatever their like thing yeah. is, um, like fist bump. Yes, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our break now. And then we'll be 
when we come back, we'll have some more sort of set up for what's going to happen next. Great. Well, I think I've made a